This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whatever you dream, a website makes it real. You know when people are cute, when they wake up on YouTube, slowly? Those alarms are so intense. They scare me. Anyway, first things first. Whoa. Oh my, oh my. Okay, start timing. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, pause, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, hola, <laughs> twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 24 seconds to get to the water. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so awesome. I was gonna go swimming, but honestly, those waves scared me, but now that I'm here, I could probably go swimming. Damn it. I haven't put up any new photos in a minute on my Instagram, so I'll real quick get this one edited and posted. Sometimes you get mega lucky and you get such easy and fast shots. <laughs> that one that I just posted, it took me uh, one minute to take. That was my third shot. Uh, 30 seconds to edit. Oh, bam! And sometimes it takes an hour. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I'm on a mission this morning to see if I can find any spots around here that I could take some nice photos. So I've just taken one photo and I want a whole bunch more. Uh, so I'll see if I can find something. Oh, hi, hi. This place is super nice. I'm really, really into capturing light lately and shadows. I love it so much. It just adds so much depth, depth to photos. It makes it so much more artistic. Um, this one was tough to capture. I don't know if I quite got it, but I think if you put in black and white, it'll be a uh, Oh, the shadows are just ah, kick ass. I don't know what happened with this shot. This was really weird, but I just really love browns and greens and grays. They just do something to my eyes. So I tried a whole bunch of different poses and I, I, I don't think I'll ever post this one, <laughs> but it was fun experimenting. <laughs> I think it's time for breakfast. It's now eight. 28 time to go by the way this lady here she just reminds me that in order to have a life of laughter and joy you have to start it now it doesn't come at that age you have to kind of ingrain that belief and that way of operating in the world as early as possible so it's just to remind me that i want to be a laughing grandma one day <laughs> that's why it's so weird i'm well aware that it often seems like influences do nothing <laughs> But uh, let me tell you, so last night I went to bed super late. I spent like an hour chatting to my ta tax accountant. 
I've been working on this tax thing for like four months maybe so that's taking up a lot of my time the breakfast place is still closed oh. so this is my new favorite breakfast place this guy Oliver he makes the coolest breakfast like so beautiful I come tomorrow I shared on Instagram <laughs> you can follow me there um, but it's just so delicious um, but yeah he needed a day off today which is a pooper ah I don't know what to do now I was so set on that <laughs> never have your heart and expectations set on anything because this is where disappointment comes from you can't be disappointed if you have no expectations if you just roll with life this is what I'm always <laughs> learning I came back to put up to get some breakfast here they make the most delicious breakfast um, I just wanted to get out of from the center because I'm here <laughs> all the time but this is this place is great and the barista she's so adorable she makes me my favorite uh, coffee with my almond um, butter and coconut oil which is delicious and I don't get to have coffee all the time because I just want to you know give my body breaks from coffee so when I have it it's a damn good treat so I'm ordering some banana pancakes with some coconut milk and now it's time to learn some Spanish. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Pretty good. I just smashed out an IGTV that I need to post. Uh, and a mailer for my newsletter as well. If you're not signed up to my newsletter, you should, because it's awesome, link in the bio. I feel inspired in this room. It's so freaking beautiful. Port of Surf is just so pretty. These colors are my favorite colors. So whenever the environment is really beautiful, I feel like just sitting down and chatting and I'm so okay with it. If the environment's not conducive, my brain just doesn't, if it's an ugly environment, I can't. Um, even filming outside for me here is a little difficult that is because it's really noisy because of the waves um, the music the people I get really embarrassed <laughs> I get so nervous when people are watching me doing this vlogging thing um, <laughs> uh, whenever I'm filming in front of any anyone so I need like a nice quiet space where I can let my personality shine without anyone and this is such a good space so Got some workies out of the way, um, learned a tiny bit of Spanish, gonna go take some photos now because actually I've made no official announcement of this yet because I don't know how I feel about it, it's so strange and I, I am uh, releasing a book this year and uh, it's about advanced selfies. <laughs> what? How is this my life? I don't understand. But it's being picked up by a really big publisher. <laughs> Holy crap, they approached me. So I just need to go take some photos in a second of different poses that I mention in the book. And they're gonna be so pretty. I know exactly where it is, the location where I'll take them. Hopefully there's not too many people in front of it, but the, oof, the lighting and everything, it's so sexy. So yeah, I think the book will be released in a few months, maybe, I hope. But anyway, keep a lookout. It's gonna be really, really damn good. Finito! And again, I expected it to be, to be somewhere completely different in a different location, but it, the conditions weren't quite right and the light wasn't quite right and there were people around, so this is it. This is the choice I made. Um, I'm very happy with it. Let's go and check out the photos and see what your girl came up with. Okay, finished with one minute to go. My life is basically always like this till like the last minute. <laughs> I don't know how I, I don't know how I get everything done, seriously. But I have to go now to training with Marcelo surfing. We're not going out uh, into the water, which I'm thrilled about because it's huge still at the front. Um, we're going to be working on pop-ups, I think on land and other exercises. So uh, let's go. This is Much Iggy. Necessary. This is my coach, Marcelo. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> two legends. <laughs> Big fan of these dudes. <laughs> Alright. Fun. That was freaking rock and roll. I love the approach that uh, Marcelo has to teaching surfing. It's so rad because it's super holistic. We did vi visualizations, we did breath work. That's so dope. I don't even know when I was like swimming, trying to make it to the Olympics when I was young. I don't know if my coaches ever did that. 
Um, maybe the times were super different, I don't know. But that was, that's, it's nice because my brain was just in the zone being like, yeah, I'm surfing and it's awesome. And it was really such a nice feeling. And I, I actually do think that it was, it's gonna help a lot. I mean, the power of visualization is awesome. I was meant to have Spanish. I haven't heard from my uh, Spanish teacher yet. He had to go to the airport, so maybe he's still unavailable. So I'm gonna go have lunch. I feel weird whenever I have really busy days like today that I start like, feeling that I always have to do everything second by second. So just then I was like checking my diary nonstop, seeing if there was something that I could... <laughs> I don't know which way he zoomed in on out. Seeing if I needed to do something, but I think I'm just gonna leave you guys here, gonna eat some food and just breathe for a second. Cause I haven't meditated in about 10 days and that's annoying. So, peace. I'm gonna take a solid minute to just relax. I haven't done that today. I was meditating at dinner and I realized I'm actually quite high strung from such a busy day. Uh, so I'm gonna relax a little bit because actually tomorrow morning I am interviewing the Minister of Tourism for El Salvador. How is this life? Then I'm going to edit this video and send it over to Squarespace for approval and that's it. That is the day in the life of a digital nomad here in El Salvador. One of the greatest countries that I've ever, ever, ever been to. I never want to leave. <laughs> ever. My journey to becoming a digital nomad actually started with websites. I started building websites about 10 years ago. This is what gave me the understanding and tools to build an online business because it is pivotal to have a website. And I adore Squarespace and I have been using them for years, even before I was sponsored. Here is what you get with Squarespace. Unreal 24 seven customer service, designer templates. Your website, honey, needs to be perfectly optimized for mobile devices. And Squarespace does that all for you. Search engine optimization, inbuilt tools to help you rank higher in searches, traffic overview you need to see where the people are coming from statistics are king if you're trying to build an online business and Squarespace shows you the visits unique visitors insights into the top traffic sources products device types browsers and operating systems by visit save some time with simultaneous posting auto post your content to Twitter Facebook or Tumblr <sighs> check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash Sorel to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website here's my Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to see more, thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. I really enjoyed this video today. It was just chill. And you got to see how I actually live and I love that. So, and until next time, ladies, gents, boys and girls and everybody in between. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy.